Well, the new year is bringing a flurry of new attacks from President Joe Biden against his chief rival, former President Donald Trump. At a speech in Pennsylvania today, the president spoke about the stakes on this the eve of the attack on the Capitol, January 6th, of course. Caroline Shively has more from Washington. President Biden delivered his first campaign speech of 2024 Friday afternoon, and he didn't hold back. January 6th. A day forever shared in our memory because of Donald Trump's lies. They died because these lies brought a mob to Washington. He promised it would be wild, and it was. Before the event, the president and first lady participated in a wreath laying at nearby Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, where George Washington mobilized Revolutionary War troops. The location was chosen carefully, meant to contrast Washington's impact on democracy versus Mr. Trump's. The common thread of all of these speeches is going to be that Donald Trump and MAGA pose an existential danger to the United States. In addition to hitting the campaign trail, President Biden is also hitting the airwaves with $500,000 worth of ads running in seven battleground states starting this weekend. I put Iowa first. While the Biden campaign focuses on the general election, Mr. Trump is focusing on Iowa. He's holding two campaign events there Friday, even though he leads his GOP rivals in national polls by more than 50 points. The numbers are striking at this point in time. Uh, Trump is clearly the front runner, um, independent of the state you look at. Mr. Trump has two more campaign stops in Iowa this weekend ahead of the January 15th caucuses. On Monday, President Biden will be in the early primary state of South Carolina. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox 32, Chicago. Well, meanwhile, filing has ended for the presidential candidates vying to have a spot on the Illinois March primary ballot. The two-day window just closed at the top of the hour. Representatives for Democratic President Joe Biden and Republican challengers, former President Donald Trump, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley have all filed. Little-known Dallas businessman and pastor Ryan Binkley also filed as a Republican candidate. The primary here in Illinois is March 19th. Well